guys, it's Victoria here from Bella Crafts and today I'm here to make with you Dina the Giraffe. Um, so this one's made out of an old milk bottle, so we need to make sure we get our old milk bottle ready. Mummies and daddies, we're going to show you how to do that um, at the first part of this video. Um, and then once you've got your milk bottle all cut out and ready to go, we need to make sure that we get our painted t-shirts or our aprons on. And mummies and daddies, make sure you make yourself a nice hot cup of tea. And we'll get started. Okay guys, so we've got everything that we need here ready to make Gina the giraffe. Um, now as I say, this first bit is for mummies and daddies to kind of get ready beforehand. So what we're going to do is just start by sorting out our shape ready to make our little Gina here. Um, so in your little packs you've got this little uh, template that we can use. And all we're going to do is take your milk bottle and you just line this bit up with the base. doesn't matter if you've got a slightly bigger size, not a problem at all. Um, but we're just going to draw around here. And then you can use this as a guide to cut out your little shape for Gina the giraffe and then you can use little Gina to put your pencils in or you could maybe plant some seeds and grow a little plant in here it is completely up to you um, you just want to draw around this bit first and then we can carry on using the template just to draw around and give us our box shape at the bottom here and then that's what's going to make this into like our little mini storage container now once you've drawn around all the way around you then just want to take some scissors or a craft knife and we're just going to cut this shape out um, now this bit should be fairly simple but you just want to use a bit more precision obviously when you're going around the um, the top part but if you just take one side and pinch you should be able to just get your scissors through there and then it should cut really nice and easily now don't get rid of the top piece because we are going to need that for Eddie the elephant as well. Um, but once you have cut round, so I'll just show you, you can just get your scissors in here. Just go round like so. And then I'm just going to roughly cut this bit and then once you have done all of your really nice careful cutting out, it should look something like this one okay now as i say you do just want to keep this bit here um, because we're going to use this top part to make eddie the elephant tomorrow so don't get rid of that because we are going to need that one um, but once you've got your milk bottle all cut out we can grab our little one and then we can get started with all the sticking and fun bits all right Okay, so now we've got our shape cut out, we can get started with the fun bit, which for our little giraffe is going to be all of our sticking on. So I've got my glue at the ready here, and we're just going to start, boys and girls, just by painting our little shape with the glue. So we're just going to paint a little area, get it all sticky, not too big. And then once we've done this gluing, we can pick up our paper with our paintbrush, and we can stick it on like so and then we can go with our next bit and you can just dab it on with your paintbrush or if you want to use your fingers you can just pick it up with your fingers and stick it on okay and we're just going to keep going and we're going to try and cover up all of these white bits with the yellow so he looks like a real yellow giraffe okay so I'm going to go up this bit here as well, so we go up his neck, like so, and we're going to go stick, 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 okay, just get them all stuck on, and now his head is going to be a little bit fiddly, so I'll show you how we do this bit. So we're going to make sure his head's all gloopy and gluey to start with. There we go, gloopy, gluey head. Make sure we get his ear. And then we can pick up our paper. And then when we stick it on, if we use our paintbrush and we just go round all the sides and we can use our fingers and we just have to smooth these bits down. And then it should wrap round really nicely okay so i'll show you with the next bit so i'm going to pick this bit up i'm going to stick it on 
And then I'm just going to wrap it round the back of his head there. Okay. We can use a little bit of glue if we need to. <clears throat> so stick him on. And then just wrap it round. Okay. There we go. Stick this piece on here. And then just use our paintbrush just to wrap that bit round. There we go. Do our last little bit down here. And we can use, if it doesn't feel quite sticky enough, if you just take your paintbrush, we just pop a bit more glue. And just go round that last little bit there. There we go. And then we're going to try and find our smallest, teeniest bit of yellow paper to do this bit up here. And we're going to make sure that we've got lots of glue on the back of this one. And then if we stick that one on there, we should just be able to wrap it all round until all of that bit is stuck down like so. Okay. Now we're just going to carry on doing the rest of our sticking all the way round here. Okay, so there we go. We've got all of our giraffe covered with the yellow now. So the next thing that we're going to do for Gina the giraffe is just add on her little spots. So we've got our spots here, so we're just going to take a little bit more glue and we can paint the back of her spots and we can just stick these on all over our little giraffe. Okay. We can stick these on wherever you want to. Wonder how many spots a giraffe has. <laughs> there we go. There on the side. Going to give her maybe one just up here as well. I'm going to do one on the other side. Okay. I'm going to do one just back here. Stay over there. I'm going to go back and I'm going to put this one just on the other side over here. There we go. So there is our spots on our giraffe. Now I think our giraffe needs a little eye next. So I'm just going to find my little set of eyes and I'm going to choose an eye for Gina. So I think she can be a, a wide awake giraffe today. So she's going to have this little eye here. And there we go, there is our little giraffe. Now if you guys want to, you could also add your um, sequins or you could do some glitter paint on here as well. I think she'd look really pretty with a bit of sparkle on her. And then you can choose what you want to use this one for. So these do make really nice little pots. So you could put your pens in there. You could use it maybe for some sweeties. You could put your hair bands in there. Or you could even fill it up with soil and grow a little plant. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining us today guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little make and we shall see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.